Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Ixion. Okay, it is, oh, it is the year 2023, not not in the game, in the, in the reality. And I just wanted to wish all of you a very happy new year. Um, it's been uh, probably about a week since I played this game, so we'll have to get back into it a little bit. Um, but anyway, a very happy and prosperous 2023 to all of you. Um, I do hope you all the best for the year to come. Okay, now let's get back into the gameplay. Uh, we just discovered Chevy 34 over here, and we do need to send a sign ship over to go and have a look at it. We can do that by probably sending the melon. Uh, oh, the protagonist is over here. Maybe what we do is we go over to the protagonist first. Oh, hang on. Can we? Oh, we have to leave it here, I think. We can get out, but we'll have to leave it there and we'll have to have the, the resources ready. So the question is really, do we start looking at building an extra science vessel? I think maybe we do. Um, we do want to continue mining a fair bit of stuff. So we are mining. Uh, we're collecting. Let's just have a look at what's available over here. 169 um, iron over here. We've got, I'm thinking, a reasonable amount over here and over there. Yeah, a fair bit over there. Still need to mine the carbon and the ice over there. Um, and then we're heading over here to come and mine um, all the rest of the iron on this side. And then we'll see what we have from that. We can send out another probe. And I do wonder, we just sent out a probe over here. I do wonder if there's anything else for us to, to kind of find in this area um, that is like... Um, Maybe point of interest related. So we found the Protagoras. There's some carbon over here. Ice, silicone. Silicone might be of interest because we are starting to use a fair bit of silicone now to get electronics running. Um, there's a fair bit of silicone somewhere over here. There we go. Um, but yeah, what I'm just going to have a look is to see if there's anything else in the line of a point of interest or science of any nature. So I'm just going to do a quick scan through that. Okay. Is there anything a little further afield? I'm not sure. Nothing kind of seems to be... Um, ooh, hang on. Did we see something here? Or was it... Can't kind of see if, it, if there is anything. Ooh. There's a fair bit going on right here. I might come back and get that. That will be iron, carbon, and silicone. That would be awesome if we grab that. I don't think... There, is there anything in here? I mean, we can't really mine it in this area, I believe. Um, that's okay. Let's just have a quick look to see if there's anything. I mean, there's some stuff for mining. But that seems to be about it. Anything? Oh, oh, oh. There's a little bit going on over here as well. Silicone, ice, iron, and carbon. A bit of that. Can't see. Can't seem to think there's anything else. I might come back and check it again. Um, in between episodes, but let's um, let's pop it in over here, and just make sure we grab everything we can. I think it'll it was just about touching, right? There we go. That's the one. Let's uh, let's oh no active probe launcher. Oh, I might have switched it off. Um, let's get back into the ship and have a quick look. Oh, come on, get back in there. Okay, so sector one. Oh yeah, we're a bit short on power. And then probably on workers. Where's my probe launcher? Yes, I've switched it off because I'm pretty sure we don't have the workers to, to manage it. So we'll leave it be. We'll, we know what we're going to do, get ourselves into. We've got a bit of negative sentiment here that we really need to start cleaning up a little bit from people living mostly in optimized quarters. That's fine. Propaganda from hull integrity being over 25%. Um, and then we just need to uh, deal with all of the others. So the thrust is falling now. So we do need to start looking at what we're going to do with that. At the moment, let's build the alloys. We will be stockpiling a fair bit of food, I think. Food, I think, is good. Um, so we're getting that stockpiled. And then what is the other? Oh, and we need the colonists. So we've got about... Uh, where do we see colonists? It's in here, isn't it? Yes, 15 colonists ready to go. We need at least 30, right? Let's just, ooh, no, return to the game. Uh, pop out here, come back to this and just see how much do we need. Ooh, 60 colonists. So we need a few more rounds of colonists. So definitely we want to make sure that we've got our, uh, our, um, 
our uh, electronics running, we only need one for every 15. So we should have sufficient electronics going. Okay, so let's unpause and let's get back into it. Um, and we'll try and manage um, what we can over here. We do need to get a little bit more power going. Um, we are currently building yet another battery in this location. We can add some policies. Um, potentially, if we have enough food going, we can get, get that policies running. Um, and what we could be looking at is building... Um, so we've got some docks available here. And we're currently, we've currently stopped actually adding these people. Um, and we're probably not dealing with the hull at the moment. So once the hull gets to around just over 400, we'll switch that back on and start using alloys for the hull. Something we'll definitely need to do. Um, the battery is done, so we're actually loading up on, on more power in terms of a battery, which would be great. Um, just give us a little bit more to go on. But yeah, just keep, um, keep, uh, keep the food. Keep the food nice and high. There's a lot of food available on this side that's not actually actively being collected, I think. Or do they actually fill it up? Yeah, I think they fill it up. There's a lot of food available on this side. I would hope these guys, yeah, these guys are actually actively bringing the food over. And I would imagine what's happening here is the food is ultimately, um, it's probably too much food for this, exactly. So what we can do is let's resource manage the food a little bit. Food a little bit. So we'll go up to, let's say, around 60 on the other side then. At least we'll store a little bit more food um, on the other side. This, the food is coming in straight away, but we may bring some food in from the other one. Um, actually, what we'll do is we'll have to drop that food down to, say, 95. So they'll move, they'll move them over all the time. That's that's the idea. The idea is that once you've got beyond that, you're gonna start moving it over to the other side. Yeah, there we go. So we'll move it over here. So we'll just store a little bit more food. That's kind of the plan. Um, we store a little bit more food. Now, what are we doing in terms of research? I don't believe we're currently researching anything. We've got about a 60, um, 60 to go here. We could research cell housing or we could do the fire station, dispatches trucks to put out fires. I'm kind of in two minds about this because it, on the one hand, I think it's something we need to grab probably in each sector, but then I'm also wondering whether it's one of those mechanisms that the moment we do it, uh, we, can no longer, we can no longer use it. I mean, well, it's not, not we can no longer use it. The moment we do it, it starts being required all the time. So I'm a little worried is one of those things. Cell housing um, houses more people um, at a lower uh, quality of accommodation, but at least gives us that ability. I think cell housing might be one of those things that we'll do. Um, we probably need that if we wanted to keep um, unfreezing people. Uh, and they will be eating more of our food, though. So maybe we, we'll hold off a little bit on that, too. Um, can we... Solid state battery capacity is increased by 10%. The oxidized contacts, charging speed is increased by 25%. I don't think either of those is, is really useful to us. Designed instruction, spaceship construction speed is 10% higher. Lens team, probe construction speed is 50% quicker. And probes are faster. I don't think we need any of that. Potentially, we need a little bit of this. Solar panels production is increased by 2.5%. And then this one, solar panel polymer cost is reduced. Now, the polymer cost is not something that bothers me too much. Um, but it may be worth our while. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to switch on our probe launcher. We don't have people to work it, though. How's our integrity? Our integrity is still holding. And we are... What are we... What's the issue? Oh, we're, we're full on... Full up on, on, on this. Okay, let's, let's move uh, more of our alloys to the other side. So sector one. Please um, move a little bit more alloys over to sector one. I wouldn't mind um, storing a bit more of the alloys on that side. And then these guys should be storing more alloys this way. But at least alloys is good now. Um, food should be reasonable. We should be able to send some food away. And we're just waiting on another couple of rounds of colonists, right? 
Oh yes, we actually need to train another round of colonists. Is it going? Oh, time remaining. 15 colonists in training. So we do need to do a couple more rounds of colonist training. Um, and then that should hold us through. There's a fair bit of alloys available. I can probably switch this guy um, back on. So let's um, make sure. Oh, actually, that was switched on. What we need to do is switch this guy back on. So maybe what we'll do for the time being is we'll switch off one of these. We'll switch on this one. Um, and we'll get that whole integrity up a little bit quicker. Um, we'll also switch on that one. Now we've still got a little bit of power left. And let's uh, quickly shoot out that probe to get us a little bit closer to... Um, to do, 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 where exactly is this? Over here. Send it out that way and, um, and just get us a little bit closer to a little bit more silicone. This is still bringing in the iron... Um, fairly quickly. Uh, we are mining the iron over here. Yeah, that, oh, that's they're both mining on this one. That's okay. Um, and then what we'll probably need to do is start mining a little bit more on the, on the silicone side of things and start bringing in some silicone. Okay, I don't actually mind waiting just a little bit and making sure we've got things nice and stable in the colony. That's kind of the plan, if we can keep things nice and stable, that, uh, that'll help us out a little bit. There's a lot of food hanging around. It doesn't have a lot of room to save some stuff, does it? Um, I'm kind of tempted to say, let's open up another food here. That should be okay, right? We should have enough workers for that. So please fill that one up, just so that we make sure that we've got... A reasonable amount of food available and we're definitely not losing stuff that's not being being used at the moment that's that's kind of part of the problem there's a bare bit of alloys there there's still alloys okay well what i'll do is let's just keep all the alloys um let's just keep it full on that side and we'll keep we'll keep a hundred i can actually just use the number here right there we go oh actually just make it a hundred. So we'll just keep a hundred alloys in each area and that should at least move these things through to the other side. Um, that would be good. Uh, we do need to get our power moving a little bit. So let's quickly have a look. Can we... Can we go and build some more of this? Oh, it takes two electronics to build one. Um, but I think we probably need to do it, right? So let's, uh, let's get cracking on that. Hang on, what's our hull integrity looking like? As we, yeah, we're over 500. Let's, um, let's, uh, let's get moving on, on that one. So we get a little bit more power going. We're not saving on the polymers, I know. Uh, what we can do now, how many workers do we have available? Can we switch this one on? Now we're exactly right. So we may have to switch off a little something else. So let's switch off that one and then we'll switch on this one. And then hopefully we'll see a bit more polymers being made. Hopefully that helps us out. Got a fair bit of power here now. One cycle, two cycles worth of power in the batteries here. Okay, that's good. That's good. If we pop back out, did what did we find over here? Oh, the probe is still on its way. Still pretty slow. Uh, we have... Da, 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 we have 30 colonists and we need... We've got everything else that we need and we can probably start bringing some stuff over. Um, I might just wait until the next round of colonists is done and then we'll start slowly bringing stuff... Well, actually, uh, we can probably start moving things th this way. So let's do that. We can choose any one of these. Unloading resources. Let's get this guy to, to do its thing. So it'll now start moving stuff through this way. Um, we'll definitely have enough alloys, which is good. Um, and we'll, we'll bring through um, the food as well. And then the colonists slowly at the end. If we go back into here, how long does it take? It takes about five cycles. So we're almost done with the ne next round of colonists. We just need to make sure that we do grab another round as soon as these guys are in. 
Um, and as soon as we've got our solars up, wow, well, we're at, at the power number there. And we are all out of silicone. So let's switch off this guy for the time being. We have no, or well, actually, no, you should have, you should have silicone. So we'll get this one more done. Once this one's done, we'll, uh, we'll switch it off. Um, 70 food over here. So food is, is, food is looking reasonable, but we are moving a fair bit of the food out. So we'll just need to be slightly cautious about that. Slightly cautious. Got a hundred alloys over here. We are bringing in some electronics. We do have the ice. We do want to get the, the water going too. So if I have a quick look at the water, well, we'll need the population to, uh, to start again. So let's start up the population. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, why did they lose trust? We, we had, what was this? An accident has occurred in the tycoon. This is crazy. So there's an accident over here. Power restored. Power has been restored, but we do have batteries. I don't know why they lost the, um, the trust. So I need to wait or hold off on that a little bit. Uh, we should have... So this guy's all full. How many people don't have... 12 injured crew members need to be hospitalized in sector 2. Whoa, 27 crew members are injured. Okay, let's build another hospital here. So if I go to population, here we have an infirmary. Uh, we're not going to have power for the infirmary, I think. But we should be able to build it somewhere. Yeah, we may as well do it right over here. Uh, we'll have to move stuff again at some point. So there we go. Let's, let's build another infirmary over there. We should have enough stuff to get that done. A probe has completed its scan. Okay, we'll have a look at that now. Um, I can probably switch this one off to get a little bit of power back. I don't know how much power this thing takes. Three, so that should be all good. Uh, we're at extra working conditions at the moment. So I can probably switch something off. Let's, um, let's switch that one off. Excellent, that's good. There we go, that's, that's all good, that's all good. Now, uh, let's keep going. We're at optimal conditions again. Hull integrity below 50%. How far, how far we should be? Yeah, we're almost done there. So that's, that's all good. Another accident over here. Why? Anyway, that's just the construction piece. Probably sufficient, yeah, hospitalization room. That's okay. All good. Let's just get this one built. Um, and this should be be back up and running um, in just a minute. Can we get this built, please? Nothing else requiring construction, so you should just be able to get yourself moving fairly quickly through here. We are creating polymers. Yeah, the waste is being managed. Uh, we're getting some food from the waste. That's all good. If we pop back out, oh, let's go and have a look. Over here we have, ooh, okay, just calm down. So that was all done. Um, I do think I need one of them to start working on silicone. Do we see silicone anywhere else? Okay, so one of these um, fleet vehicles, I would like you to mine silicone for me instead. So one will go and do the silicone. The other one will go and do the uh, will go and do the iron. That's all good. And then from a fleet pickup perspective, uh, we do have the glue scap going to go and pick up silicone as soon as that's available. Carbon is being picked up as well. Um, so I think all of that is all good. But we are running a fair bit of iron at the same time. What's going on over here? Has anything arrived? Nothing has arrived just yet. Uh, but I believe the glue scap is on the way with uh, with 30 alloys. So it's going to take a couple of of, uh, of trips for that one to, to ultimately get there. This guy is coming back for a bit of a repair. Um, I could move the... Um, we're still picking up a fair bit of iron from over here. So I might I might leave these guys to do their thing. So that's that's okay. Um, as is, I might leave them to do their thing. Okay, so now, what are we saying? You've done everything you can and you're all done. So let's switch you off. Um, so we'll get you guys to work elsewhere and we'll, not, and we'll have more optimal um, conditions. And then I believe our power is looking much better. And we should also now be... Um, dealing with hull integrity uh, fairly well. Okay, excellent. So this is done. So let's train the last batch of colonists. There is a 
there is indeed a piece of electronic there. There is some electronics on that side, but we do need to get silicones to come in and be able to continue that. Um, and I'm also tempted to switch this back on now. We have power, so let's switch that back on um, and get more people. What does our population look like? So we've got 45 colonists. We're working on that extra 15 so that we can actually send them out. We've got 212 workers. Um, a lot of non-workers that we're turning into colonists. Um, and then we've got a few people in space as well. Uh, they're probably crewing um, some of our other vessels. But that's all good. So yeah, uh, getting more people ready to go um, is probably the right thing to do. There's still a lot of people in cryopods and hopefully we can slowly clear them through a little bit. So we'll have to switch on one of these to start moving moving more of the pods through. Yeah, that's good, that's good. We'll, we'll keep doing that. Um, this one is still running, so we are continuously creating alloys and our hull integrity is coming up quite nicely. So that's all good also. And our food is looking good. We haven't started moving the food yet. So that is part of the challenge that we're facing at the moment. We need to move the food. Okay, so let's uh, uh, clear off all of those notifications. Alloys are being moved. Um, Kind of wondering whether we do another science ship if we've got the polymers for it. It's one thing that we can, in fact, maybe do is build another science ship and start working on something else. Um, let's go ahead and use 25 polymers and get another science ship. The Ripley is underway under construction over there. The, there we've got melon and two mining ships and we've got all of our um, um, cargo vessels on this side. Uh, okay. You can pick up food and all everything from here. So everything you need can be picked up from here. Apart from, we cannot we cannot actually move over the um, we cannot move the the other guys over. We cannot we can't move the colonists. The colonists won't be here on this side. We'll see. Maybe they will pick it up on this side. They probably will pick it up on this side. I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll have to see if that works that way. Okay. But what we will do is let's pop into research and start working on the cell housing. I think that is an important one for us. So let's start start going um, going there. We'll start doing that the research. That's good. Once we get a science ship ready to go, the Ripley, we can move it over here. We'll probably pop it over to Rokotansky and then move it through that way. What's going on on this side? But 30 alloys, we still need a fair bit of stuff moving. Can we, I don't think we can yeah, we can't assign extra ships, so that's just going to have to uh, be the way it's going to work. Yeah, these ships um, need 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 repair fairly often. Finished off that Valiant. There was nothing else here, right? Yeah, none of these things. These things are all done. So Protagoras is the big next piece for us. But I do I do want us to get the um, the colonization going. The food is holding. Yeah, yeah, our food is definitely holding. Yeah, there's a fair bit of food. Oh, yeah, look at that, 230. Food is, is looking beautiful. We did, we weren't storing enough. That was the issue, I think. I think we were actually losing food due to the fact that we weren't storing it. Um, can I switch this one on? How many workers do we have? I can switch on a, another one here. But we, it's not like we have any alloy room. It's not like we have any room for further alloys. So if I switch that one on, I don't know if that's necessarily a workable one for us. We want to get some silicone in here so we can continue the, um, the electronics. Batteries in sector one is 1 1.9 cycles and 1.6 cycles over here. And we should have a fair bit of people in. Yeah, so we've got everybody in infirmaries at the moment. We can shut some down if we need to. And we should be getting more people on this side as well. What is our housing looking like? Uh, we're all up on housing at the moment. So we do need um, some additional housing over here. So what I was wondering if we could do is we could... Um, I can... I think in there at the moment. What we can do is we can... Uh, actually, it's a, it's a fairly... What I'll do is I'm going to uh, quickly dismantle um, two buildings here. Oh, and we don't have any room for it. So let's 
um, do that and switch that on. So let's dismantle these two. So we'll get that to go over this way and then we'll build a new one. And I know we're going to have a little bit of problems due to this, but we'll build the, uh, the bigger, better um, housing variety over here. So we'll do the optimized quarters. So in the same space, we should be able to um, get a, a few more people housed. And we can actually do the next one. Once that one's finished, we'll do the next one. Um, and slowly we should be able to, to get everybody um, housed now. It does take a little bit of extra power, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, it's the same. It's the same in power. So that optimized housing is definitely um, giving us a, a bit of a... A bit of extra stuff and because we've got the alloys we may as well be we be doing this so that should hopefully help out a little bit more can we the question is can we start doing a few of the things with regards to the water so let's have a quick look so if we wanted to yeah but it really should be going to the next one so we need 80 alloys two electronics 16 food and 40 workers which shouldn't be a big deal for us to activate We'll we'll have a bit of a look at that once we once we've got this going. How far is that? Um, no training is in progress, so we should have sixty colonists ready to go. So now we just need the the ship to be busy moving things over. Um, a kangaroo. What's happening over here? We've got 30 alloys and not much else. Where's my um, where's my glue scap? Oh, it's loading. Glue scap is loading, so that's the the next uh, bit of alloys is is now ready to go over here to Deville. Uh, oh, actually, we should have a. Hmm, what's going on with my? Oh, we don't have any polymers here. Oh, well, how silly of me. Switch that one on. Bring in some polymers. Move some polymers over, please. Polymers to uh, this one. Okay, so just move a few polymers over, please. I think that's what'll what'll happen. Yeah, I think that's the polymers on the way, so we can actually get that sign ship done. Silly, 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 silly that I've been uh, been missing out on that. So that's done. We should have a slightly better housing availability here. Let's uh, let's do the next round. Pop that one out and let's pop this one out. And now we're probably going to have housing shortage again. That's good. No problems. We'll, we'll build the next piece of optimized housing. Cell housing. Actually, let's have a quick look at cell housing. It'll be done in just a minute. As soon as that's done, let's have a quick look at what cell housing looks like. Maybe we just build one of those and save some space. Okay, so let's have a look. Cell housing technology. So if we go to population... Cell housing takes a fair bit of uh, minimal quality of accommodation. So how does that? Oh, it has to be up on the wall. And I could, I could squeeze it in there. It would actually work. It gives us a lot of extra room. Okay, well, let's, uh, we'll, 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 we'll work towards getting some cell housing up. Let's get uh, another piece of optimized housing going on over here. We'll move a few more people through and we'll start cleaning some of this out. And let's, um, let's stop that. So we'll move, we'll use this, uh, this alloys first so we can clear that out. That would be good. What did we get? Cell housing technology is done. We now have very little, very little in the line of science. To work with. Cryopods are all full all the time. Should be almost done with that. On this side, I do wonder if we can close some of these things off every now and again. A lot going on there. Are we going through the alloys fairly quickly? No, there's lots of alloys available. What is this thing saying? Stockpile failed to transfer resources. Oh, because it's full on this side, that's the issue. More iron coming in. Are we mining? Um, are we mining some silicone at the moment? Yeah, this guy is coming over to mine the silicone. 
it's gonna be a bit of a rough patch there. I'm hoping it's gonna need gonna be okay. Uh, this is my last alloys going over. Man, it's taking a bit of time, so let's speed things up just a tad. I do wonder if I go into fleet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can tell any of these other guys to be moving anything. These are just for collection. It's not actually moving it somewhere. We have to actually physically assign it to something. Okay. Uh, let's speed it up a little bit. We're getting iron to come in at a fairly, fairly reasonable pace. And hull integrity is pretty good. So let's... Let's switch off the, the hull integrity for a moment. Wow, it, it kind of it just means we, we have to constantly be repairing the hull. We can't be can't be waiting it out like this. So let's um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna de demolish this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and demolish that one also, and then we'll build the cell housing. But for the time being, what I'll do is I'll switch this one on and put it in there so that they can move the stuff over and we'll start working on the cell housing what we can also do is start removing um, up to about there yep there we go so now we should have access to the cell housing I think so I think we'll have access to the cell housing we'll have to have a look oh actually that was silly of me let's just uh, get that back in so we can continue that and the cell housing actually Needs a little bit more. Oh, that, now it'll be the spot where the cell housing has to go. We'll have to see how we can do. We have access on this side. Start work on the uh, on the cell housing for us. So then we'll have um, sufficient space for people. 11 of 431 crew members in Sector 1 are lacking quarters. That's okay. But I think a little bit of cell housing is going to be good. We can later move this. We can put some cell housing on this side too, I believe. Let's just have a look and we squeeze it in. Oh yeah, it'll 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 work here. It'll work in there. Nice fair bit of food available over here now. So let's have a quick look at moving food between the areas. Um A ship has been destroyed by a space weather event. What? What ship has been destroyed? Oh my goodness. So that space weather event there is a bit of a challenge for us. So getting to it is an issue. We may have to... Okay, you, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to move this guy here. Oh, the Ripley. Okay, the Ripley is ready to go. So move the Ripley to the Protagoras, so we'll get it over there. Um, and then what we'll do is just let's move the um, let's move the ship. Come on, let's switch a few things off. So we'll switch that off. Uh, we'll switch this off. We'll switch all of these off. We'll keep going on the food. We'll switch off all of this. The food is loading up to be taken away, I'm pretty sure, is it? Yeah, the glue scap is being loaded. So let's um, just wait for that to happen before we go any further. Um, I'm not going to build anything right now, so we'll go ahead and switch off some power over there. Uh, we'll switch off a little bit of power over here. Where is the glue scap? Let's just before we uh, before we um, head off. Where is the glue scap at the moment? Is it being loaded? Waiting to dock. Waiting to dock. Come on, go back in. I think here it is. It's coming in now. This is the glue scap going to load up on the food. Okay, all good. Once that's done, we'll move it on out. Perfect. Get you out of the way. We'll move over this way. Let's quickly see. Um, that's done. So we'll switch that off to save a little bit of power. Uh, that's under construction at the moment. We'll switch this off. We'll switch that off. We'll uh, switch this one off. That's all good. We'll, what we'll do is we'll, we'll switch that off for a little bit. Um, 
I think that's going to give us a little bit more power. 2.1. Hull integrity below 50%. Okay, now we're quickly going to make a move. So let's just pop out here and we'll move the Typhoon over here so that it's going to be easier for these guys. On t uh, even, even that, I think, is going to still run us through there. So we'll have to go here so we'll uh, not lose our stuff. So let's quickly move the Tycoon over. What is that? Uh, I didn't actually double check that travel time. Let's move that through quickly. I believe we should be all good. A ship has been destroyed by a space weather event. Oh my goodness, that's two mining ships destroyed by the space weather events. Um, are we too close to it over here? An accident has occurred in the tycoon. That's okay, we should be okay. The mushroom wall has been disabled due to an accident. Okay, let's just get there. Okay, excellent. So now everything should be back. Uh, ooh, people are angry. Why? From all, all integrity. Okay. We need to get the whole integrity back up and running. Um, okay, so let's switch that on. Work on the whole integrity for us. Um, we'll switch this one back on. And we'll switch that one back on. Open up that one to get that working again. Uh, none of these. We can, we can work on that. That's okay. Um, on this side, we'll switch that back on. Switch this one. That's in there. People have housing at least. Uh, we can switch this thing back on. Optimal working conditions. We, we should we should be okay on this side. Um, we can switch that on as needed. This we'll just have a quick look here. There's plenty of workers available. So let's go and switch all of these on and continue to create some polymers so we can build some more mining ships. That'll be the thing for us. Um, oh, this is all shut down. So let's just switch this back on again so we can at least pick that up. That's all good. So now I think I'm hoping people will... What's our line integrity looking like? Not great, is it? Oh, yeah, it's really low. Yeah, but it's... Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Okay, let's double check that and then we'll end the episode. I think it's the whole integrity. Pledge to restore it? Yes, we will. There we go. That's good. We'll definitely do that. That's not even... That's not even close to not what we'll be doing. We'll definitely do that. Uh, okay, so guys, we're still working on the colonization. Um, thank you so much for watching and enjoying this episode with me. If you did, in fact, enjoy it, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!